I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome back. So each month I share two awesome machine quilting videos where I walk you through my process of custom machine quilting, either quilts that I've made lately, my daughter's made several, or that are quilts made by my clients. So today I get to share this incredible cheetah quilt that was actually pieced by my client, Heather, and I was able to custom machine quilt this for her. So over in the Peace and Quilt Academy, we now have a brand new video where I will walk you through my process from start to finish of custom machine quilting this incredible quilt and bringing it to life. You can enroll in the Peace and Quilt Academy and gain access to that video. Plus, we have over a hundred other videos over there. So it's a great resource for learning and improving your machine quilting. And you can learn all about it and enroll over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So today we're going to be doing just a little bit of machine quilting. I'm going to be doing all of my quilting here today on my Gamel 22 inch machine. Y'all know that I love machine quilting with rulers, so I will be doing a bit of that. On this fun quilt, I will be using a couple of different thread colors, but I've also recently been trying out the new bobbins by Superior Threads there, the Super Bobs. I've kind of gone back and forth over the years whether or not I love free brown bobbins or if I dislike them. And right now I'm in a phase where I'm really liking the way that they've stitched out. So that's what I will be using here on the bottom of this quilt. And we do now have them available over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. So let's hop over to my machine and let's do just a little bit of stitching on this incredible cheetah quilt. So before we do a little bit of quilting, I absolutely love how this quilt turned out. Here are a few images of this incredible cheetah quilt after the machine quilting is all complete. This incredible quilt was pieced by my client Heather and the pattern is Cheetah Abstractions by Violet Craft. Something that I really wanted to do on this fun cheetah quilt is make this cheetah look like he's hanging out maybe in a savanna or some tropical place. I felt like stitching a lot of feathers kind of wrapping around behind him would be a great way to kind of bring that to life. So here I'm using some large rulers that I picked up from the quiltedpineapple.com. Over in the Peace and Quilt Academy, I do share my process of marking out these feather stems before I actually load my quilt onto my machine. So as you can see here, I'm starting out by using those large rulers and I'm stitching a nice long spine. Once I've stitched out that first long spine, then I'm going to use another one of those large rulers by the Quilted Pineapple and I'm going to stitch out another spine. So I'm stitching out kind of the foundation of the design before I start quilting my feathers.
Once I have those foundations all stitched out, now it's time to start having some fun. Here I'm using a matching so fine thread and I'm stitching right over that brown border. I'm kind of trying to give this quilt the look that it's in a picture frame but also has this texture and dimension. So here on the bottom half of the quilt, I am actually stitching right over that border and then across the top section, I'm going to quilt the border with a different design, which really just adds a cool little extra element of interest. Over in the exclusive Peace and Quilt Academy video, I will show you more of how I do that around the top of the quilt. But as you can see here, I'm using the bump back method and stitching my feathers right along those spines. When machine quilting feathers, I personally have found that I have a little bit better success and control if I focus on just one side of my feather at a time. So here I'm starting with just the feathers on the top side. You're viewing this here as if you're standing behind my long arm. So it technically is the top side of the quilt, even though it appears to be the bottom or the bottom side where I'm quilting here. But once I have that first side of my feather all stitched out, I like to stitch an echo line along the outside of my feathers. This is something I often do. I feel like when I'm going to now quilt a heavy background filler around that area, by adding that echo line, it really just kind of ties the whole feather together and makes it just stand out on its own. So once I've stitched back to that bottom point, then I'm going to now quilt feathers on that second side. I'll repeat this process, filling in each of those marked outlines.
So here are a few more fun images of this incredible quilt as I was quilting him. I loved quilting the face. There was just something so much fun. I chose to quilt. What I quilted on one side, I mirrored on the opposite side. And that was really the only area on the quilt that I did that. But I love how the end result turned out. So earlier I mentioned how around the top portion of the quilt, I kind of wanted it to look like it was a frame and that this cheetah is kind of hanging out in a savanna. So if you look near the left side, you can see that those are the feathers coming up from the bottom of the quilt. And then moving around the top half of the quilt through that brown small border, I quilted a straight line, real simple design. But then on the outside of that border in that blue area, notice how I added in a fun little second border. So started out with some straight line quilting that's a quarter of an inch away, then added half inch spacing where those string of pebbles are, and then went back to quarter inch spacing. And I love just that secondary element that that brought to life. So here's just a couple more images of this incredible cheetah quilt. I am so glad that Heather allowed me to custom machine quilt this beautiful quilt for her. You can find more of my process custom machine quilting this incredible cheetah in the Peace and Quilt Academy on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.